hey guys welcome back to my channel so today um, I'm gonna do things a little bit different um, I'm actually about to go to work I thought why not give you guys a little makeup tutorial on how I get ready for work um I am in the military so this is definitely a military friendly makeup look I am by far full disclaimer I am NOT a makeup guru I am NOT a makeup artist I am NOT an aspiring makeup artist I don't want to do none of that stuff I just like playing with makeup and this is how I do my face for my job okay so let's just stay tuned right now my face is bare so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize it with my oil free moisturizer from Neutrogena I'm moving right to my brows so then I'm gonna be using this brow brush thingy and my LA color brow pencil am I the only one who still uses pencil for their brows comment down below if you using if you still using the cheap dollar general pencils I'm just filling in my brows I really take pride in my brows this is probably the longest step ever but just remember that your brows are sisters, not twins. Next, I'll be using my Revlon Color Stay 2-in-1. The color I have is 400 Caramel. And I'm just going to outline my brows to make them more defined. So I'm going to be blending out my concealer. Um, I don't know what kind of brush this is, but it was good for blending out my concealer. So yeah. Next, I'll be going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Y'all, super duper lightweight. And you don't need that much. I love this stuff. So guys, I bought me um, some new drugstore foundation because I didn't have any. And I'm trying not the infallible. I got two colors. This is 312 in Cocoa, and then I have 211 in Cream Cafe, which is like the two darkest colors. I might just blend them together and then like get my color, who knows? So yeah. So I'm spraying my brush with Boschka White Charcoal Mattifying Setting Spray. I also blended those two foundations together. The Cocoa is a total coverage and the Cream Cafe is medium coverage. Um, the cocoa is also more matte than the um, cream cafe. It looks a little bit orangey at first, but once I finish, y'all, it worked for me. Next, I'll be going with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. Y'all, I had this concealer for so long, okay? I also went in with my Fit Me Concealer 25 Medium just to give me a little bit more of a highlight. Next, I'm taking my Beauty Blender and I'm also spraying it again with my Bosch Hair Setting Spray. And I'm just going to blend that bad boy out. Blending is the key to beautiful makeup. Also, I'm using this beauty blender from Amazon. I got like six in the pack. I am not buying a real beauty blender. I'm not paying $25 for that little sponge. Maybe one day when I become uh, fancy with my makeup, but as of now, not happening. Next, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm using a dry beauty blender and I'm just patting it underneath my eye, all the spots that I've highlighted. Now, I'm not really going to bake too much, but I am going to let it sit for a little bit just so all the product can get up in my skin. I'm going to contour my face with my Sephora Contour Stick in the color Deep. Then I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Matte Powder in the color 05 Deep to brush off my Sasha Buttercup. Y'all, I had this powder literally for two years now. No, I did not forget to contour my nose. I just did it last because I didn't want my powder to get on it. 
also i'm using this brush from sephora i don't know the name of it it was given to me by a friend and i'm just going to blend blend and more blend y'all this is super duper important because you don't want any harsh lines and trust me i've been there before and that is not cute I'm taking my round brush to blend out my contour some more and this small brush to blend out my nose contour. Y'all, I got this brush in a set. It was like maybe 15 brushes from Amazon.com. I don't deal with the expensive brushes. Not right now because I'm not a guru. But yeah, so I'm continuing to blend, blend, and more blend. I'm going to take that same beauty blender and the excess powder that was on it. I'm going to sharpen up my contour. I'm going to use my Shea Moisture in Mandalay Dust to set my contour with my fan brush. I learned this trick from Tiara Walker. Yeah, I like her a lot. Next, I'm going in with Wet n Wild Highlighter. Y'all, look at that highlight. Wet n Wild is really stepping up. And this is also one of their brushes that I am using. I'm going in with my Makeup Forever blush. I really like this whole contour blush and highlight thing, guys. It's popping. I'm going to take the Nudes palette by Maybelline New York and I want to take that white color and put it on my brow bone. I'll be going in with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Y'all, this mascara is a bomb. This is Revlon Photo Ready IR in the color 100 Topaz Twinkle and I'm just going to place that in the inner corners of my eye just to give my eyes a little bit of pop. Then I'm going to go over that with my Jeffree Star highlighter. This highlighter is super duper pigmented and I love it. And of course I'm going to blend some more y'all. <laughs> I really cannot stop blending because sometimes I be like, is it harsh or is it just me? So I just blend. You can't get, you can't ever have too much blending. Now I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Using ColourPop pencil in the color Pitch to outline my lips and some random color from, I don't know where I got it from, but it was super cute. So I used it. And I'm going to go over that with Forever 21 High Shimmer Gloss and blend that out. This is the end of my little tutorial, I guess you could say. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to your girl. If you like this kind of videos, then just comment down below and I'll definitely do more for you guys. Um, this is just a simple, simple look. Um, military friendly, like I said before. Oh, my baby calling me, y'all. I gotta go. Alright, I'll catch you guys on my next video.